Greetings. It's day four on our journey. We're getting very close to Friday, aren't we? But today, the question is, what are we preparing for? What are the preparations we're making? So continuing in Luke's Gospel in the 22nd chapter, beginning at the 7th verse. And it reads like this. Then came the day of unleavened bread, on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. So Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and prepare the Passover meal for us, that we may eat it. And they asked him, Where do you want us to make preparations for it? Listen, he said to them. When you have entered the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him into the house he enters and say to the owner of the house, The teacher asks you, Where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples? He will show you a large room upstairs, Jesus continues, already furnished. Make preparations for us there. So they went and found everything as he had told them, and they prepared the Passover meal. They were told where to go, who to meet. They knew how to prepare a Passover meal. That was part of their tradition. They did as Jesus asked and followed through with all of the plans. But I wonder right now, in the midst of the pandemic, are there plans that we're making that are different this year? Are there plans that we're making that don't include a large meal with extended family? Are we preparing a meal of Thanksgiving? Maybe it's just two of you. Maybe it's six of you who gather. Maybe even some of you will gather outside for a meal. Not sure it's warm enough for an outside meal, but around a campfire. What kind of meal are you preparing? The Passover meal was very specific because... Each item of the meal had significance. What about your meal? Grandma's favorite donuts. Aunt so-and-so's biscuits or bread. The ham or the turkey that you purchased. Maybe you're having lamb. Chocolate cake. Pies. But whatever you are preparing this year, remember that part of that preparation begins in your heart. As you prepare space for what comes next. As you prepare space for the joy of Easter. What are you preparing? God bless.